look, the World Cup is not just a, a showcase of great athleticism. It also boasts sensational fashions. So, Toby, you're going to take us through some of the most fashionable team strips <laughs> from this World Cup. And joining, joining Jamoan on the catwalk is Joel Osborne. Yeah. Toby, thank you. Thank you, my... That is my sexy voice. <laughs> My sexy announcer voice. Okay, fantastic. First <laughs> off, the Brazilian jersey, made from tear absorbent material, perfect for losing semi finals in. <laughs> Up next, we have the Italian jersey. It's made from stretchy material, perfect, perfect for pulling down the collar to show those bite marks. <laughs> Next up, we have the Spanish jersey. It's very stylish. Oops, it's gone. Nobody expected that. <laughs> Next up, we have Ian Robbins' jersey. It's classy, it's bold, it's very bright, but there's a big stain on its reputation. Pow, pow. <laughs> See that? <laughs> That's what happens. Stop taking those things. It's not only the players who have to set the fashion trends for this World Cup. Coaches such as <laughs> Netherlands' Louis van Gaal have been seen sporting <laughs> the backpacker look with sensational sandals. <laughs> and don't forget those socks. Ah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And finally, finally, who can forget the fashion history of World Cup coaches? Jeremy's Joachim Lua and his fashion devotee. <laughs> Assistant coach. Hansi Flick, never seen without the matching attire. Well done. <laughs>